Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm Christina. We are doing a plan with me in my catch-all classic happy planner for the week of January 15th to the 21st. This week we are using some pretty special stickers. I received my, sorry y'all, I started pulling stuff out before I started talking about it. I received my January junk journaling kit from my girl Robin, Crafty Planner Queen. She comes up with these kits every single month and sells them, usually alongside of a uh, junk journaling challenge that she does. Um, this one is the Afro Steampunk, I believe that's what she called it, kit, and it is gorgeous. It has all of these different elements in it. We've got these like wheels, like gear things, this like mechanical butterfly. We've got a black girl with a beautiful mechanical Afro. We have, um, like brown shades, neutral shades, clocks, and all these different things. A little tag card. Just kind of trying to show you. She's bad. <laughs> We've got all these different, different elements here. Um, this long piece here. Um, and so this was just too pretty. I had to use this in a full planner spread. And um, since this week is Black History... And since this week is Martin Luther King Day, um, or this week has Martin Luther King Day in it, which is the 15th, um, I figured this would be really cute to to use. So we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to use this in the spread this week. But it is still winter, and so I wanted to add a little bit of winter element to the spread. Um, so I'm pulling out Chic Winter by Live Love Posh, and I believe in here. There are some snowflakes, really pretty snowflakes. And I think that these snowflakes, they're black, so that kind of helps with the color palette, but also the intricate detail of them also makes them look kind of mechanical, in my opinion. Um, I think it's just those two sheets. So we can add a couple throughout the spread. I don't know. We'll see. Y'all yeah. know me. I'm just making stuff up as I go. So let's go ahead and get started. Um... I'm going to be ripping paper, obviously, because I can't help myself when I do these type of spreads. And I want to figure out, I love this power sticker. That's beautiful. Um, I also want to use, figure out what elements I want to use right away. Um right there just going through one more time i love this like rose clock thing but part of me wants to save it for a different type of spread um we'll make sure i have the elements that i need to get started on this little ticket i think i already had that piece out I really like her. Like, this could be a spread on its own. I mean, be for real. You just put her right in the middle of the page and be done. That actually might be cute. And I could do boxes around her. Hmm. No, I don't want to do that. But maybe she goes over here on this side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit of a vision here. Um, maybe she goes on this side and we figure out the rest. Okay. I like this like kind of like jumping off point. Um, I want to make sure that I'm rip the part that I'm ripping has some interest to it. I want to keep some of this together. So at the top, let's just do it. I'm going to try to rip kind of around the motif here because I think that's perfect to go right there. And then at the bottom here, maybe it's not. Okay, this is coming together for me. I don't know why. It took, it took me a minute, y'all. It took me a minute, but I'm, I'm here. I'm going to rip around 
the wheel, or not, it's not a wheel, it's a gear shift. This concept is so unique. Robin always has just the most like unique pieces. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try to lay some things out real quick and then we'll see what we can do about actually getting stuff down on a page. So we have this like power. I don't know, this is so different. I don't know what I'm doing quite yet. Maybe this goes here, something like that. I need to get some color behind her. So I'll probably add a little bit of something, maybe like right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna commit to it now. I have to move her over a little bit to keep that like that, okay? And then I'll have some more paper for up here. I'm gonna use the whole piece of paper and then I'll layer over it. I really want this to feel like junk, really junk journaling. I, part of me is like, do I want her to be the star of the show? And I do, but the other part of me is like, I wanna use more, I want more melanin on the page. Okay, this is cute because you can actually write on this. You could actually write on this. Um, the only problem I ever run into with this is that these pieces are pretty big. Like these are these are large decor pieces every single time. Um, you definitely get your money's worth when you buy anything from Robin. So um, I'm always keeping that in mind. But we are going to make this super duper cute okay yeah i'm i'm liking where this is going i want to make sure that i'm gonna pull black boxes that's what's gonna help there and then maybe figure out maybe i can cut some of this flower up somewhere this is gonna be an easy spread okay this feels good so I haven't decided if I want to use, maybe she goes on this side. I don't know. I like her a lot. Okay. Let me get my glue. Let's start in the corner that we know for sure. Oh, this is going to be cute and very different than anything I have in my planner. not following crafty planner queen you need to be doing so so you know when the next kit um, for February becomes available it is going to be good I can tell already um, Robin is amazing um, and if you're not uh, aware I am a part of her um, design team um, from January through April I believe maybe May there will be a code listed below if you go to her shop, which is Crafty Planner Queen on Etsy, and you use Christina15, as long as you are spending $5 or more. Um, and trust me, there will be $5 worth of things that you want to purchase over there. Um, you will save 15%, which is absolutely amazing. She offers a wide variety of uh, printable stickers. Um so you'll, you can get on, get in your planner stickers that you print yourself. The great thing about printable stickers is you can make them any size you want to, which is really fun. And you can use them again and again and again, which is even more fun. Okay, we've got these big pieces down. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get all the pieces I know for sure that I want. Um, and... Um, she makes it really, really easy. So you don't have to have a cutting machine. So I feel like I'm kind of on a soapbox about this lately, but you do not have to have a cutting machine to um, 
have printable stickers, y'all. All you need is some way to print it, a printer, um, and really a pair of scissors. Um, you guys have seen many times on my channel, I use my gyro cut, which is this little tool right here. So when I don't feel like you pulling out my cutting, like Cricut, my cutting machine, um, I use my gyro cut. I actually use my gyro cut more than I use my Cricut because it's just easy to pull out. So I encourage y'all to go check out her shop um, because it really is, it is amazing. All right. I want this at an angle and I want room to put a sticker there. I want to, so let me glue the top of this. And I want to put this note down here at an angle. I'm going to angle that a little too much, but that's okay. Let me put the power above it. just ran out of glue. Uh, hopefully I have more because that will not be great if I completely run out of glue right now. All right. Anything left? Nothing at all. Okay. Let's see what Christina has in her arsenal of planner supplies. I swear this glue goes by or it seems like it just uses super fast. But I did have another one. So we can keep going in this very fun plan with me. Okay, I'm also going to just go ahead and I need to cut a straight edge first. Yeah, my desk is a mess. You can only see what I've got going on on my desk. I started filming a different video and then I was like, oh crap, I do not have my catch-all planned and it is Sunday, the 14th right now. So I was like, oh, oh stop everything. Let's get that filmed. Good thing I knew what stickers I wanted to use. I just didn't know. Oh, this is good. Okay. Um, I never finished my thought. I just didn't know what stickers I actually wanted to use. <sighs> Y'all, I just kind of want her. Is that terrible? Is that bad? I don't know if that's bad or not. This is so fun. Okay. Um, let's. I wish this had a little bit darker outline on it to kind of make it stand out a little bit. Trying to decide how much real estate I want to give this. It's kind of long. And we could rip it. We'll definitely rip it. I'm kind of thinking about. I'm kind of trying to do like the mirror. Sorry, y'all. I have the window open. For some reason today, it is really hot in my house. And, okay, I need to cut this. It's super long and pretty, but I want to cut this. I'm going to cut it right in the middle of the text pieces that I see. So we have another, like, ticket piece at the bottom. And I want this to... Yeah, kind of come... Now that I'm looking at this rip, it's not very good, but it's fine. Okay, I think I'm going to kind of have this coming off the page. Let 
like this. So you have just another little element. Um, some of these other pieces are so big. And then I'm thinking about the flower, how I can incorporate the flower and then maybe the snowflakes in the boxes. Let's figure out the snowflakes. Okay, yeah, these are cute. <laughs> These are cute. I like this a lot. So let me, I'm just gonna stick this right here. Um, I think everything on this side is glued down, yeah? So let's put this up. snowflake there on that piece. I think that's going to help break up that side a little bit. Maybe a big one. Yeah. Okay. So let's figure out what we want to do here. And then we're just going to put a big, that's actually kind of too big. That one's a little too large. Let's try a smaller one. Okay, something like here. And then I can put that there. We are using a little, quite a quite a bit of real estate in this. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, you know what would be super cute? I never do this. I don't. I have a pretty boring life, so all of my plans usually fit, even on very decorative spreads. But um, I could do like a little like half sheet to go in here if for some reason um, I didn't have enough room. That would be really cute. I don't know if that's where I had that before, but that's where that ended, ended up. Um, okay. I do want to do something with this big snowflake. So we're going to put that there. Um, it is so large. It, this is a, this is a big sticker. Maybe a piece of it up there. I always struggle with snowflakes. I'm like, does it actually look like it's snowing or does it look just like... that probably doesn't really look like it's snowing because of how I cut it. Hmm. Okay, let me grab my black boxes. Okay, let's, I don't know what I want down here yet, but I want something bold on this side. This power is pretty bold over here. So I want something kind of bold over here as well. Okay. I really wish I had another like word to go up here, but we are rocking with what we've got here. So, 
I want to put this right here underneath her. Her shoulder actually is not glued down, so it like fits perfectly. We have something for, we have room for a little something down here. So I don't know if that's a piece of flower. The flower kind of softens everything. Let me see what I can do to fit a little flower down somewhere. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, okay, Sunday. Sunday, I want something. A lot of Sunday is eaten up by sticker. I could go over those gears right there, but I don't know if I really want to do that. I'm going to need something over here. Now, y'all. Okay, we have a box up here. I keep coming back to this little flower, but maybe I should be looking. At other things, I have the other piece of the ticket. somewhere maybe maybe this was a better place to do that was I kind of like the idea of that it pulled up super easy that was shocking okay well, that works I guess that be ripped across the page and then keep coming back to this flower um yeah I just want her I love the rest of this but I really just want This is kind of interesting though, right? With like her little chest. I am gonna put this up here. Call me crazy. My grandma's used to say, call me crazy, I haven't called hers. overlapped on this box okay this we we have we have something going on y'all what it is i have no clue we need to wrap it up okay i'm gonna put a large box or attempt to put a large box on wednesday i think I want it to look like that's on like falling on top of all of these things. Um, we still got this awkward area down here. Um, I can put in a couple boxes for Thursday, so let's do a 
a box like that, a box like that, and then I don't know if I need one for Saturday. A small one, maybe. put it over the wheel or under the wheel I guess okay so I'm gonna cut this bottom part off of this butterfly finally and then we need to figure out what I wear well for putting snowflakes since I covered most of the top at this point Maybe that's what the rest of this is. It's like filling in with snowflakes. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I literally make everything up. I don't know. Where's the other? Oh, there it is. I was like, where's the rest of the snowflake that I cut? Let's do... A little bit there. We are going to do a good chunk here. I've got another one more small and one more big that I can use. I don't want to go into my other page of snowflakes, so definitely want to save them. So let's do a snowflake down here by her. Let me, I want a piece of significant oh, snowflake. Y'all, I am all over the place. My bad, my bad, my bad. We are coming to the finish line here. It doesn't really look like snowflake. It kind of is what it is. And then we can have one that's kind of all the way down here. I think this kind of needs to be what it is. If I think too much about it, I'm gonna start changing stuff and I don't really want to start doing that either. So we have a winter Afro steampunk vibe. This can also be, oh, that back is, okay, never mind. We will we will revisit these stickers. This is not the last you have seen of these stickers. In 2024, what do we think of this spread? I think it's super fun. It's super unique. Um, I definitely have never done anything like this in my planner. I'm going to punch this hole right here while I'm thinking about it. And, y'all, yeah, this is a vibe. So, do not forget to head over to the Crafty Planner Queen Etsy shop. Again, I would really appreciate it if you would use my code, Christina15, for anything you pick up, as long as it's over $5. It just shows that I'm committed to um, supporting Robin and her amazing work. Um, and this is an example of that. Um, you can junk journal in your functional planners, y'all. You really can. You can make it happen. You can combine the two. I love this junk journal-esque vibe. I've been doing it since probably early last year, um, but making sure that it still is somewhere um, in my planner where I can get good use out of it. Um, so here's an example. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for this video. If you liked it at all, please like and subscribe. If you like this final product, you could like and subscribe as well. Um, head over to my Instagram, exo.christina, to see more plannery things. So thank you for hanging out with me, y'all. I appreciate you being here, and I hope you plan with y'all again very, very soon. XO, bye, guys.